So my three big stories for today are only one story, and it's about Zelensky's trip to Washington. This is kind of critical. Uh, nothing in the news other than that. When you just look up Ukraine news, Ukraine news, it's all about Zelensky going to Washington. Every article on the front page is about Zelensky going to Washington. Uh, I think this headline captured it really well. Zelensky says delaying aid is a gift to Putin. It really is. This video here, Che Bose, is a RT commentator, and he's saying an increasingly deluded and desperate Zelensky now blames Russia for all wars. He ignores that his bosses in the U.S. have started dozens of wars, killing... Okay, but let's hear or read what he has to say here. Zelensky actually said this. Security is number one. You see an explosion in Europe. This is our war, an explosion in the Middle East. There is a great risk of an explosion with this Venezuela. Of course, one way or another, who's involved? Let's guess. Russia is involved in this. Undoubtedly, one way or another, directly or covertly, Russia is responsible. And here we must be on the same side. We all want there to be peace and for there to be security. Russia's got its hand in if not directly, at least indirectly in Gaza, inflaming that. Venezuela, probably. Somewhere else, Russia is the, the, the glue holding it all together. Zelensky makes his pitch for U.S. weapons. Politics should not betray the soldier. He says while he's talking to U.S. military um, defense university in Washington, D.C. It's crucial that politics don't even try to betray the soldier because just like weapons are needed for the defense, freedom always requires unity. He said the whole world is watching us, observing the destiny of the free nation. Ukrainians haven't give up and won't give up. Zelensky continued, we know what to do and you can count on Ukraine and we just hope as much to be able to count on you. And I think they will be able to, but it's maddening in the meantime watching what's going on. Now, Again, the Republicans are holding this up, trying to uh, get some concessions for border security, and it was all tied together into one big package, the border, Israel, and uh, Ukraine. They are clearly clogging up the works. This is just politics, but it's unfortunate. It's terrible. It's awful timing when people's lives are actually at stake. Jake Bro uh, was making an impassioned plea about this, and I want to show you a little clip from him as well. It's going just, to be Trump this versus... A, this will take a little bit longer than usual, but please hear what he has to say, because the way he ends, I want to comment on. Biden, and if immigration is solved, if the border is secure, if Republicans get everything they want, then what the heck is Trump going to be campaigning about? Uh, he's got plenty of other things to complain about. And the Republicans will run a victory lap about, hey, we really pressed and we got border security. And so I, I'm not really concerned about that point. Biden is going to say, I, the Democrats, am the only one capable of getting things done. Trump was president for four years. He couldn't secure the border. He couldn't reform immigration. If you care about these issues, vote for me. Joe Biden and the Democrats. But the Republicans will just take credit for it. So I'm not terribly worried about that. That's honest politics. That's how things work in America. So this is a setup. This is a setup from the Republicans for military aid to Ukraine to fail. So Jake and I disagree on this, and I don't try to contradict him or go out of my way, but we have different perspectives, and you should hear different perspectives. So here, he thinks it's a setup. I think they're just trying to get concessions and that they're going to actually make a deal, just give it a little time. Unfortunately, time is a really important commodity, and the Ukrainians don't have a lot of time, so that's very frustrating to watch. All of these senators know this. Mitch McConnell, Senator Romney, Lindsey Graham... They know exactly what they're doing. They're lying to you, especially if you're a voter who cares about border security and immigration policy. They're using Ukraine as a political tool and cover, uh, saying we want to support Ukraine, but we can't secure the border and we can't get immigration reform. It's those evil Democrats. It's President Biden's fault. Don't blame us for not supporting Ukraine. It's the Democrats' fault, when in reality they would never give President Biden this political victory in a re-election year. So it's true. No, Republicans don't want to give Democrats victories. Democrats don't want to give Republicans victories. But this is absolutely horrific timing for this kind of thing to be going on. I don't think it's fake. I don't think it's artificial. Republicans really do want to secure the border, in my estimation. But that's my estimation. He has a different view. And that's precisely why I'm showing you this. It's a setup. 
Speaker Johnson doesn't care. He's willing to let all these people die. Okay, now, Speaker Johnson looks terribly uncomfortable. He didn't want to be here, but he's kind of getting pushed by the uh, political winds into it, but he didn't want to be there. As long as he gets to stay in power and the Republicans win big in November. If that was too brutal, if that was too honest for you guys, I know I'm going to get people who will dislike this video and unsubscribe from my channel for speaking the truth, but I'm going to tell you how it, what's really going on here. Now, I'm going to tell you, even if you disagreed with what Jake said, with his analysis, as I partially do, don't unsubscribe. Hear different viewpoints, understand what's going on, and then make a decision based on the various viewpoints that you've heard on your own. But don't unsubscribe. That's foolishness. If I, I disagree with him on this particular point, I think a deal will get done. But I say if you have unsubscribed, resubscribe. You can hear a wealth of useful understanding about Ukraine through Jake Bro. Okay. That is my one big story for today. It's all about Zelensky and Washington and the deal and what's coming forward. Stay tuned. I think they're going to get some resolution. I hope it's sooner than later. They're going to go to the 11th hour and 59th minute before they actually resolve, but they will resolve in my estimation. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and the coffees. And thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.